The last 12 months have been very difficult for the Australian economy. After what was a terrible bushfire season, we were dealt with a global pandemic. Now initially it wasn't clear what the impact of COVID-19 would be on the Australian economy. However, by March, it was clear to the Australian government that the impact would be significant. The response was a very large stimulus package. The main focus of the stimulus measures have been on the JobKeeper and JobSeeker concessions. The government's response, however, was broader than that and includes measures like the cash flow boost, the home builder allowance and depreciation concessions. The state government and the private sector were also involved in the response and we saw measures like payroll tax relief, loan repayment moratoriums and rent relief. Government also has to balance our debt levels. Despite all of these measures, the Australian economy has actually entered into recession for the first time in 30 years. And on top of that, we've been left with a significant debt burden as a result of these stimulus measures. So this is a very important budget for the Australian economy. It's one where the government needs to balance short-term stimulus measures against measures aimed at long-term economic growth so that we can work our way out of this recession. At the same time, the government needs to manage our debt levels. We are dealing with significant global uncertainty. How do we manage the virus going forward? How do we deal with the global trade stoush? And when do we reopen our borders? So this is really an important budget and one that may just define the Morrison government.